Hello, Night City. Welcome to another episode of Cyberpunk 2077. I'm Cobalt Thorium. Where you beeping at? And, yeah, uh, so I want to go and... Okay, so basically, I am kind of getting sick of this game. Um, I mean, it's it's okay. It's, it's not as good as I had hoped. Um... I mean, there's there's some aspects of it that I really like. The combat's fun, but it I don't know. It just doesn't it doesn't keep me it doesn't keep me riveted. It's not maybe it's just not my type of game. Um, I think that that might be the case. Um, I tend to like more strategy games and stuff like that. Like I love anything basically by Firaxis. Um, that's much more my speed. I like my Starcrafts and my World of War, uh, not World of Warcraft so much, but Starcrafts, Command and Conquers, um, uh, Civ, uh, um, XCOM, stuff like that. That's really my speed. Um, but, you know, this is such a an important game, uh, just the way that they hyped it up and the scope of it and all that, that I really wanted to, you know, give it a... Give it a try. Definitely play through it. I mean, I, I generally tend to like these games, actually. Like, I tend to like, um, like Skyrim and uh, Fallout-type games. Those draw me in. And for some reason, this game's starting to feel like a chore. Um, anyway, point of the matter is, I kind of want to move on to something else. But at the same time, I want to finish this. My friends are all like, oh, have you finished this game? blah blah blah, uh, clearly they want to talk about something that happens at the ending uh, it hasn't been spoiled for me yet so, I think I'm going to go and do this transmission call Bridget and accept her help but first, we're going to do some lore so this will be a lore episode I'm sorry, it sucks but, uh, we have a lot of lore building up and I want to get to it so shards it gives me an opportunity to uh, exercise my horrible, horrible uh, voice acting skills. Coptic Bible, the Book of Enoch, and the angels, the children of heaven saw and lusted after them, and said to one another, Come, let us choose us wives from among the children of men, and beget us children and all the others together with them took unto themselves wives, and each chose himself one, and they began to go in unto them and to defile themselves with them. Wow. <laughs> and they taught them ch charms and enchantments and the cutting of roots and made them acquainted with plants, and they became pregnant and they bare great giants, whose height was three thousand ells, who consumed all the acquisitions of men. And when men could no longer sustain them, the giants turned against them and devoured mankind. And they began to sin against birds and beasts and reptiles and fish, and to devour one another's flesh and drink the blood. Then the earth laid accusations against the lawless ones. Interesting. I didn't know that that was part of the Coptic Bible, so I am aware of the Book of Enoch. This is some pretty dark shit, though. That's, uh, that's pretty interesting. So I believe that the Book of Enoch is one of the... What, what do they call it? Not heretical Bibles, but, um... Damn it. Uh, the non-canon, non but there's a term for it. Um... Oh, man. Um... Oh, man, the, uh, that's gonna bum me out. <laughs> anyway, uh... Apocryphal, uh, the apoc uh, apocry apocrisies or whatever, 
but yeah, they're like the, the the sort of rejected books of the Bible, which is sort of an interesting concept in itself. Um, all right. Um, but maybe it's not rejected from the Coptics. Who knows? All right. Let's see. Watson Hoare Diary. Monday. What an effing world. I finally got my ass on Ziggy's show. And right before I walk on stage in effing hospital somewhere gets shot up. This dick cancels the show last minute for a special app about the effing victims. Who the F cares? Is anyone going to remember them in a week? Did they spend half their effing career to get on that show? No, they just effing died. I got my ass on stage anyway. Let them know you don't cock block a goddamn TV messiah, but security F me up so bad that I, uh, what I, what was scrolled got corrupted or some S. Okay, that the ending of I, I thought I was doing really well with that until the end. Tuesday. Felt fed up today. Made a move on town hall to protest that the interesting double space here. The effing disgraceful neglect of war vets. I mean there's a lot of intentional typos here, but anyway. Got my hands on a dress made of sin fetuses. Oh my god, what the f <laughs> Chanting my effing throat raw. Well, at least there's sin. Sin implies synth synthetic, so maybe that's less vile than it sounds. It's still pretty vile, but uh, I should probably <laughs> try n not to interrupt the middle of the, the lore with my outrage at how disgusting this is. Okay. So, uh, chanted my effing throat raw half the way down there until the director of Wet Dream recognized me and said I was looking sexy. So I leaned up against a schism, uh, f fake choked on an air deck, and slapped my ass. I could tell he loves pretty boys. Cause I, I, I could tell he loves pretty boys. He took me my back to his place, my god. Chained me up to his king and F me raw till I snapped each and every bedpost. He showered me in eddies and already got plans to see him sometime next week. Sa same time next week. Maybe I can screw my way into his next BD. Jeez. This is this is horrible. Wednesday, got into an apartment with Ruth Zhang. We talked about the normies who died saving some kids after a nuke popped during some corp war or another. Call her a tough-ass bitch on TV if you want, but she got, like, all blubbery baby on me. So whatever, I figured I'd say something nice. I said they were pretty Nova, and maybe they'd want to, they'd want to like be my fans. Hell, looking at old old photographs, I was like, it's a legit effing shame, cause half of them got bulges halfway to Denver. This is so badly written. <laughs> I mean, I get it. I get that's intentional, but holy. The, the ignorance, just the ignorance of the writer. I mean, I get that that's what you're trying to, to portray, but oh my god. Just the, the ignorance and the, and yeah, and the, and the degeneracy. <laughs> Real waste of good dick. She gave me some stupid smile and told me to F off, C. Thursday. Ha 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 ha. Alright. God, this is so bad. Alright. Um, Friday. Christ. I don't know which way's up. I'm effing wiped. 
the boys brought over some laced S or something, but it hit me, Ike, a uh, effing fire truck. I don't know what happened, but everything smells like piss. There's a horse mask in the bathroom. If I had to guess, it was probably me who wore it and rode around. My knees do kind of kill thinking about it now. I don't know. I just hope that director from Tuesday and not that skank from apartment three. It was that director from Tuesday, not that skank. Oh my god, that was so hard to read. Alright, let's do the archive conversation between Paul and Will. Paul. It pisses me off. Almost everybody th uh, still thinks I'm two people. Though, to be fair, uh, not even sure why I'm still suggesting this old message thread. Force of habit. Guess this is my dear diary now. Anyway, I'm thinking I need nicknames for us. Wait, not us. I mean, both my bodies. Yeah, uh, gonna need those for all the gronk brains out there who will short circ if they have to use uh, one name for both of me. Oh, this is so confusing. Uh, are those those two boxer guys? Alright. Uh, maybe something about brain hemispheres left and right? Yeah, that's about it. I'm a genius. I just need them to sound like real names, so prob something exotic. Otherwise, I can already hear their cringy jokes. Mr. Right, more like Mr. Wrong, or Hey, Lefty, your other half is all right, etc., etc. Sad face. Do I have this backwards? I think I changed the voices at some point. Damn it. Uh, we can use a random directory. Translate left and right. Maybe Portuguese. Gah. Which effing we? I sound like a schizo. I mean me. I will use a random dictionary. Certo and esquerdo. Right and left. Easy, exotic, and only Brazilians and peeps with integrated translators will ever catch on pretty slick not like I know not like anyone I know blows their eddies on that floofy non-combat junk anyway username Paul changed to Serto username Will changed to Esquerdo okay let's try something else the Avian Extermination Act the AEA was adopted by Okay, so that's the Avian Extermination Act, so that's why there's no birds. The AEA was adopted by Night City on May 4th, 2063. The purpose, in the face of increasingly frequent and deadly zoonotic disease outbreaks, the City Council has decided that the most effective method for reducing the risk of infection among residents is via extermination of all avian life within 18 miles of city limits. See figure 1. The extermination process will begin on May 7th, 2063. Once the call and selection of tenders... Selection of tenders? For the contract has... has... Uh, have been completed. See Annex 2. Is that like contenders? Like, like, is this a bidding war? Hmm. I'm not, I'm not used to that word being used that way. Blaming Bartmos by whole holy oh, bugbear. Okay. When I imagine what the net was like before Bartmos, I see thousands of potential threats and thousands of opportunities. Of course, the whole system was unstable. Corporal runners pulling one way, 
post-war rogue AIs pulling another. Financial markets tanked, virus mutations spiraled in uncontrollable ways, and the runners got cooked in their living rooms every now and then. Bart Moss saw the net as a grenade, waiting for the pin to be pulled. And that's exactly what he did. F it, right? Let the world burn. Bart Moss F'd the system, but F'd all of us right along with it. Just look at it now. Corps are on top as usual. The Black Wall, which was supposed to protect us after the Nets crash, is just another control tool in Netwatch's arsenal. Before Bart, before Bart Moss, the Net was an untamed jungle. If you could navigate it, you had a chance to survive. You were free. After Bart Moss, the Net's like an airport security check. Every step you take, Netwatch is checking your papers and every th uh, and performing a thorough cavity search. But all for your own good, of course. Okay. Um, ba -ba -ba. Let's try something else. A little further up. Horoscopes. Storyteller group. Clients from Storyteller. Client number one, 2077. MB Scorpio. You did it again. You rolled up your sleeves and cleaned the uh, Augean stables. Everyone admires you, but you know that your only reward will be the next task you're, give, you're given. There are not many like you in Night City, but without you, the city would have long turned into shadows and dust. Avoid flirty AIs that try to impress you with their knowledge of ancient Greek. Your lucky place, the net. Client number two, DK Capricorn. Are those the client initials or is that something else? You're a burn, you're a born cap, oh jeez, let me try again. You're a born car, Corpo, you pilot, you plan, you calculate, and weave webs so tangled you sometimes lose yourself in them. If only you were the one calling the shots, then you would already have the city at your feet. Unfortunately, you're caught up in a maze of responsibilities. But whatever you're plotting, make sure you see it through to the end. Avoid last-minute changes to plans. Your lucky place, Arasaka Tower. I wonder if we know who this is. Mm. Unfortunately, I'm not great with names. Um. Yeah, I don't know. DB Gemini. You know the city like the back of your hand. At night, you head out just to listen to the pulse of the streets. The juicy chatter, muffled screams and drunken shouts, just to soak up the atmosphere. Once you've been everywhere, once you've tried everything, you're a free spirit. And in Night City, that makes you a unicorn. Avoid overworking. Your lucky place, the newsroom. Holy crap, how long is this? Alright. Taurus. Okay. You've done your time waiting in the shadows of others, but your patience finally paid off. The applause and flashy photography are all yours. The world of media has opened its doors to you. Television, radio, brain dance, net, and this is just the beginning. Avoid the waves cr crashing at your feet. Your lucky place, the TV studio. So, MZ Aries. When everyone is down and out, you came, back, uh, you came storming back in style. The city loves people like you. It's how legends are born. Your triumph is bittersweet. 
you returned, but you've wound up on the street among the joy toys, con artists, and panhandlers. You know you've got biz here to take care of, but it can be tough when it feels like there's no end in sight. Avoid sketchy r ripper docks, your lucky place at Jig Jig Street. Well, I think a lot of people are getting lucky on Jig Jig Street. TM Leo. The city likes to devour players like you, but you know their kind too well to get caught off guard. You're on the ground. You know that in Night City, biz only gets done when you put your blood, sweat, and tears into it, not just flimsy dreams. You eat dreamers for breakfast. Avoid genetically modified nuts. It's very specific. Your lucky place, Haywood. Okay, we got a second Aries here. I was wondering if this would just be one of each astrological signs, but apparently not. These are individuals. So RWO. You've been in demand. You barely finish one task before someone's lined up to give you another. It often seems that you're on your own. But always remember you have a team you can count on. Avoid emotional policemen with difficult pasts. Your lucky place, a bar inspired by Babylonian culture. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Okay. I was wondering if this is Barry, but what is Barry short for? I don't actually know. What is Barry short for? Hmm. PC Capricorn. Although you've been riding with nomads for years, you're a corpo at heart. You knew that from the moment you stepped into Compeki Plaza, you felt at home there. Who's PC? Hmm. You've had enough of camp life, constantly repairing generators, the sand gritting between your teeth. You'd have given up ages ago if you weren't so damn good at it. Avoid Raff and Shiv, your lucky place, Compeki Plaza. Note, highly susceptible to the Barnum effect. Interesting. Could this be Regina? Hmm. KK Virgo. I'm trying to think of any KKs we've met. I mean, that's a pretty unique um, initials. Anyway, you've been in the city for only a short time, but, you've al but you already know uh, the what and the how. You've accomplished the toughest part. You have a good team at your back. And there seems to be a um, repeat reference here. Uh, you've just been landing small jobs for now, but you know you're hungry for something bigger. Avoid getting attached to friendly, talking machines. All right, interesting. You're lucky you place the music scene. Damn it. I don't know how helpful this is. It, it's kind of interesting that, the, that they reference the friendly talking machine there. Uh, I like that. All right, let's try leaflets. Build your future in Rocky Ridge. Rocky Ridge, a true paradise far from the big city bustle. A new development just outside Night City, Rocket Ridge isn't just a place to call home without breaking the bank. First units already available for reservation. A prime location or even an easy commute thanks to the planned freeway extension. But it's also the first uh, exciting br breath of life into the area and the heady promise of new jobs. Don't build your house on sand. Build it 
in Rocky Ridge. All right. And uh, this will probably be the last one for now. NC Nightlife. Drinks, dancing, debauchery. If you're a dance head like us, don't miss out on Lizzie's. You'll find no better brain dance club in the city. No matter how deep you dig, modern boxes, solid tech, but most important, the catalog, chock full of nearly any ex uh, experience you can imagine. You'll find everything you need to get off, fast or slow, nasty or classy, and everything in between. Don't let the girls at the front door scare you off or kill your buzz. They're wary of newcomers, but once you get in, they'll treat you like one of their own. Trust us. Give Lizzie's a try, and you'll never go anywhere else. Now, the afterlife. That's a different story. Sure, you can cut loose and have a good time there, but the afterlife's a place of business above all else. Want to meet with a fixer about a job that needs doing? Discuss an important gig uh, with uh, important gig details with a client over drinks or maybe just sit back and people watch to see the comings and goings of NC's uh, Underworld's biggest merc and a fixer names the afterlife is a great place for all of the above the only place really if you're looking for the city's marquee events you'll find yourself at Riot chart top and playlists Live performances from the biggest stars, both local and from around the world. DJ battles, unique music shows, and media-packed album premieres. Sound like you're seen? Don't miss out on Riot. All right. Well, I think that that's enough uh, lore for now. Um, so I'm going to wrap up this episode here. And then I think we're going to go and say hi to Bridget. Because uh, I don't see how else to advance in the main quest, and I kind of want to finish it before it gets spoiled. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have, uh, please leave a like and maybe subscribe. Maybe leave a uh, note down below, a uh, comment or a message. And I will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.